I'd like to speak to you regarding this while he uh, processes my paperwork. Could you please get my dri the, the driver's license that I handed you? I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. I'll You're coming out of the vehicle one way or the other. Sir, deal. if you put your hand on me, I'll charge you 1,000 uh, silver dollars per incident. Welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into the video, I would just like to give a huge shout out to Team Skeptic for finding this absolute gem. Team has already covered this one, but if you haven't already seen it, then please go check out his version. Link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Right on to today's video, which comes out of Ohio and is yet another right to travel fail and arrest. Unfortunately, in this video, he decides to include his kids in his soft sit shenanigans so they get to see every single one of his dumb arguments fail and then see him led away in silver bracelets by the supervisor he demanded. Right, let's get into the video. But as soon as I pull up with my lights on in my uniform, full uniform, that is Teresa. my presence. My presence I enough Teresa. is... And is, I'm glad to comply. You're not complying. No, you're not at all. You understand? I you do not understand. Not I do not understand. Okay. I'm happy to comply. You're not providing Absolutely me. happy to comply. You can be a convicted felon right now. I, I have no will. Idea. You know that. I do not understand. I could be in danger that. right now. You're not in danger. I could be, though. You are not People in danger. Lie to me all I the time. certify to you that you all are right. not in danger. Okay, so the beginning of this stop wasn't recorded or it was clipped out because, well, not stopping for the police when they have their lights and sirens on doesn't look good on camera. Even more so when you have your kids in the vehicle, you know, which I get, I understand these are soft sit, that's what they do. But now he wants the trooper to trust him when he tells him he isn't dangerous. Well, I'm sorry, but that's just not how that works. Why do you have all this? Where are you coming from? Am I obligated to answer those questions? Am I under an obligation to answer? Am I under arrest? If I'm under arrest, am I obligated? Right now you're lawfully seized by law, sir, and I'm going to issue exactly. a citation to you as well, soon as okay, I can find out what your that, I will. Is. I will be glad to... As soon as you provide me that, which I can lawfully drag you out of this car right now, put you in the back and... That would be unlawful, sir, and I not, don't understand. But I will comply once I get that last bit of information from you. Do you so as you will hear next, that this last bit of information he wants before he complies with the law is the trooper's driver's license. So obviously this is just one big game to him and he obviously has no intention of complying. But remember, he's doing all this while his family is in the vehicle with him. So just let that sink in while you watch this. Do you have a driver's license or some type of Sir, I can't give ID any, for any driver's well, license or any form of I know, I know you can, I can't. but you're I saying you're refusing, I'm right? I'm refusing, yes. Okay, thank you. I'm now, refusing. what I will do, since you're you, refusing, here's... I will be glad to get you my driver's license and proof of in insurance for commercial driving. Right now, I'm traveling. I'm under common law jurisdiction. So now he's gone from, I will comply when I get the trooper's license, to, since you're refusing to show me your license, I will comply and give you my driver's license. And then he tacks on part of his sovereign citizen script like it will somehow make a difference. And he expects to be taken seriously. So I'll be glad to give you that. Uh, do you have a phone number where you can be reached at your, at your post? 409-562-8040. 409-862-8040. Zero. Okay. Well, thank you for your cooperation, and I will provide you with those commercial documents you request, but at this time I am informing you that I am not under commercial jurisdiction. I am not operating under commercial jurisdiction. I am traveling. Yeah, you said that already. Continually repeating it will not magically will it into existence. Also, is it just me or is this guy trying to imitate the language used by cops like he has an uneasy fascination with law enforcement and was maybe at one point rejected by the academy and now has this weird grievance? Maybe. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle, sir? Sir, I'll be glad to answer any questions for you once your supervisor... Do you have any weapons on you? I will be. I do not mean you any harm, and I will be glad to answer any questions and discuss this once your supervisor arrives. Thank you. 
bless him, he thinks a supervisor who probably has better things to do with his time than to stroke this guy's ego is going to turn up and somehow have a long, drawn-out discussion about the law on the side of the road with him. He's going to be seriously disappointed. Also, asking you if you have any weapons in the vehicle is not a question you should really be ignoring when you have kids in the vehicle with you. It's selfish and irresponsible. Right now I have to inform you that you are making me very nervous, holding my door open oh, like that. Okay, Here is a commercial driver's license. And here is proof of commercial liability insurance. You mean your non-commercial driver's license and standard motor vehicle insurance, which you could have easily handed over to the trooper at the beginning of this stop when he first requested it. Instead, you have to turn it into this circus. Unbelievable. Now, I also must inform you that I do charge for any things that I consider violations against my freedom as a man. I am not charging you at this time, but I will charge you if you keep me longer than 10 minutes, if you do me any harm, if you put me in shackles, if you arrest me. Well now, that's a lot of word salad right there. I'm almost tempted to ask for dressing. Well anyway, I may not have that chance because the supervisor is here to shut this nonsense down. We'd be here all night otherwise. Supervisor. You go ahead thank and talk you, to thank him. you so much. Now I will close the door and I'll speak. To, I will close the door and speak through the window. Hi, sir. How are you today? How are you doing? Uh, I'll be glad to speak to you about what transpired just now. If we close the door, I don't feel safe doing that, sir. I'll be glad to comply with any lawful orders. I can lawfully order you out of the vehicle. I'll be glad to comply with anything that's lawful, but. Dude, I would just give up. You clearly haven't got a clue what is and what isn't lawful. Plus, it sounds like you're a little bit under arrest right now. Right now, right now, he's in violation of my, uh, that I've informed him. And I'd like to speak to you regarding this while he, uh, processes my paperwork. Could you please get my dri the, the driver's license the that I handed you? I'm ordering you out of the vehicle. I'll You're coming out of the vehicle one way or Sir, the other. if you put your hand on me, I'll charge you 1,000 uh, silver dollars yeah, per incident. Dude, read the room, or should I say traffic stop. You are being arrested. Anyone who isn't you can see that. Your fee schedule will not be saving you. In fact, with the way things are going, you'll be owing that silver dollar amount you demanded in fines for all the charges you seem to be racking up. I would be glad. Would you show that to him, please? Would you show that to him, please? Would you? Uh, I'll be glad to. Coming out of the car. Sir. Okay, so he was arrested for obstruction and led away in silver bracelets to jail. And his other half did eventually produce her driver's license to prevent the vehicle from being towed. But the video ends before the trooper came back to confirm this, so there is no final conclusion to this video. Other than the obvious one that these two are terrible parents to put their kids in this situation. I didn't show it, but the kids were audibly upset in the aftermath of their father's arrest. I mean, you two are supposed to be adults, so you can behave as you please, but please do not include the kids in your soft seat shenanigans. This shouldn't need to be said, but here we are. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. Right, take care all, and I will catch you in the next video.